A bloody weekend on the streets of Providence has police especially busy tonight. On Saturday, we reported a man was shot while sitting on a porch on Hartford Avenue. He's in critical condition. Then police tell us two women were shot on Health Avenue yesterday afternoon. Tonight, we're learning of even more violent attacks from over the weekend. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the latest developments on the investigations. Four people shot, three others stabbed in a weekend of violence here in the capital city. Police tell us they are investigating this string of crimes and will be upping patrols. Two days, five crimes, seven people hurt. Sometimes, you know, it occurs, it, it just happens. Providence Police Major David LaPayton says police are investigating a pair of stabbings and three shootings that took place in the span of just 48 hours. The violence began early Saturday morning with a stabbing at the Biltmore garage that sent two men to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Two suspects were apprehended. Then on Saturday night, shots rang out on Hartford Avenue, where 22-year-old Kiplagut Stewart Jr. was shot and critically wounded while sitting on a porch. Mr. Stewart was attended to immediately by rescue personnel and transported to Rhode Island Hospital, where he remains now in critical condition. No arrests have been made. On Sunday afternoon, a broad daylight drive-by shooting on Health Avenue sent two women to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect in that shooting, 21-year-old Jimmy Seth, is still at large. Then on Sunday morning, police tell Eyewitness News another man was stabbed and seriously hurt. We uh, looked for a crime scene along uh, Smith Street near Oakland Avenue in that area. The investigation into that stabbing is ongoing. Finally, at 8.30 Sunday evening, another man shot in the torso on Comstock Avenue. Police say his injuries are non-life-threatening. And police do not believe that any of these incidents are connected, but again, they tell us they will be stepping up patrols. Of course, anyone with information on any of these crimes is urged to contact Providence Police. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.